Hey guys, this is EB. And this is Scooter. And, and this, this is Macintosh, Macintosh Tips. Hey guys, this is EB. Uh, I got big news. Uh, if you see on our Macintosh Tips website, the Can Your Mac Do This video that me and Scoot made a while back has hit over a thousand views. And I promised you guys that I would do a tutorial on all of the applications uh, done in this video. So here you got it. All right, guys, let's get started. Um, in my Mac, can your Mac do this video? Um, which, like I said earlier, it hit a thousand uh, views. So I told you guys I do this video. Um, has several applications in it. It has one called um, Wall Saver, Lots of Water, Mac Saber, We Saber, and um, I Alert You. And I will now go into all these applications, how to download them, where to download them at, and how they work. All right. Um, I'm trying to as fast as possible so you guys bear with me. Uh, the links will all be in the description bar right over there. Um, so you guys can download them as you follow along. They are very small files so you can uh, do them pretty quick. Alright, let's start off with um, just a basic one which is Wall Saver. Alright, here's the Wall Saver thing. The link is right over there uh, on the Mac, uh, Mac update thing. You download it, it's just 1.1 megabytes. And once you download it, um, you should have a little thing that looks like this. And then when that pops up, all you have to do is hit uh, activate. And what that does is it turns your screensaver, which right now is a application called Lots of Water. This is actually a screensaver that I got. It's called Lots A Water 1.4J, whatever that is. And you just download that and put it in your screensavers. And once you hit activate, and it hides that window and then turns your background, wallpaper, whatever, into that lots of water screen, uh, screensaver. And whatever your screensaver is, is what it'll do it as. Uh, I just like this because it, you can see here, I can still use all my stuff, open my finder window, and it still works just like usual. It's just a cool effect. And uh, to restore, you just hit restore. And it's back to normal. I'm going quick. All right, guys. Mac Saver can be found in this website right here. Uh, once you download it, all you have to do is uh, put it in an application folder, and when you open it up, and you get that cool effect. Now, let me drag this to the middle so you guys can see. Um, if I hit that Saver button, it has the effect of it closing in, and then you click it. And you have the effect of you, you know, hitting the lightsaber. Now I'm picking on my laptop, and you can see the, it, it, it recognizes the tilt and everything. So when I pick it up and I jolt it just a little bit, you get that effect. And then I jolt it a lot, you get that effect there. And that's Max Saber. All right. Let's, all right, guys, let's go to the next application. Uh, once you open up. Uh, Safari, you can find this application on the Apple website actually, and it's called Liquid Mac. One full word. If you go to the Apple website, you can download it right off of there. It's uh, version 1.4, and once you download it, you can uh, put it in an application folder, and when you open it, it looks like this here. All right, you can change it to like blurry dots or sharp dots, whatever you want it to look like, and um, just the appearance of it and the effects here. It also changes the color. And to activate it, you just hit the space bar. And you can see here um, that they've all fallen to the bottom. And whenever I tilt my Mac from left to right, you can tell when I saw I'm tilting it, then um, the balls are rolling. And they can go all the way up to the corner on each side. All right, that is Liquid Mac. Now let's go to uh, Mac, uh, We Saber and I Alert You. All right, guys, we're down to two. Uh, the next application is called We Saber. All right, all, the three things you need. Uh, the application called Wii Saber, a Wii Remote, and the Bluetooth all right, on your computer. All right. Uh, so first thing, we need to go ahead and do uh, get Wii Saber downloaded. All right. So if you just type in Wii Saber in your Google, it'll be that first one. It's called on the iSnoop.net website. Download that latest version, which is the 1.0 beta. Once you download that, then you go ahead and uh, go up here and make sure your Bluetooth is on. Open up Wii Saber. Once you open up Wii Saber, it says press 1 and 2, which is right here on your Wii Remote. Hold it down. And there it is. 
you can see right here it says roll tilt and force when I'm moving it just slightly you see those, those numbers changing all right to to close your saber click the B button on the back to open it back up click the B button. all right to move it around it senses it moving around and to strike it hard you can get that all right As you guys saw in the video earlier I had a little fun with it so that's that all right guys this is the last application that we're going to do um, this is the last but not least kind of get a drum roll I alert you all right you need two things when using I alert you one you need your Apple remote and also two you need the application I alert you so go ahead and open up Safari and type in I alert you one full word the U being a U instead of Y O U just like seen here and it's the one 0.29b version. Once you've downloaded that, then go ahead and put in an application folder and open up I alert you. All right. Once that opens, you can see a uh, in your menu bar a little circle just popped up, and if you put your cursor over it, it says I alert you. All right. Let's go ahead and set our preferences. So if you go down into preferences um, and you go to camera, I'm not going to use my camera because I already have. Um, this with uh, ScreenFlow on, but if you want to do that and you're not using ScreenFlow or any other photo booth or iChat, then when somebody bumps your computer, it'll take a picture of them. Uh, so very cool. If you go to general, you can uh, set a password, stuff like that, and the alarm for the sensitivity, I'm going to set that a little higher. All right. Um, go ahead and close that out, and to activate I alert you, you just take that, hit that menu button right there, if you can see it on your thing. Hold it for two seconds. And you can see it beeped and it says protected by I alert you. All right. Now I'm going to just touch my computer and hopefully this will work. Perfect. All right. It's flashing. To disarm it, just hold down that menu button for two more seconds. All right. Perfect. This has been the Can Your Mac Do This application tutorial. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Thanks for all of your support, viewers, and more to come. Peace.